Hello guys, this is a short video to demonstrate that when a trade is going against you, it is a really good idea to hedge out of the trade at love 30. So don't wait until it's love 40 or even 1540, or of course, waiting until the player you are backing goes on to lose the game. This video is actually one of my students trading in the match of Olga Aliassim and Berrettini in the Stuttgart final on the 16th of June 2019. So we're joining the match at 2-2 in the second set. Berrettini took the first set 6-4. So the traders placed a back and a lay trade just before Alga Aliassim is serving. You can see at this point in the match the prices are jumping around quite a bit and if I'm going to be a little bit critical I would have actually suggested waiting for the prices to settle as you can see you actually get a much lower price you could have actually got 1.28 here so the game has started with Alga Aliassim serving and he's just gone down by love 15 now this is a point where we don't panic uh, this happens a lot we only start to do something if he goes love 30 down now you will notice in this match that the picture is lagging quite a bit behind the scoring. Now this sometimes does happen with Bet365. It's just kind of an occupational hazard that you need to be aware of. So just keep your eyes on the score rather than the picture. So there we have it, uh, Alga Aliassim has gone down uh, love 30, so it's time to hedge out of the trade, to basically just cut our losses. So we keep an eye on Berrettini's price, that was a price of 1.22, the trade was entered at 1.31. So that's got matched, actually got matched at 1.21. And he's now gone to love 40. Um, you can once again see how much the picture is lagging behind in this match. And we'll just watch this to see how the point was lost. So if we look back on Fairbot, we'll see now Berrettini's price is 1.14, actually it's now 1.13, remember we got out at 1.21. So just to explain this very clearly, the trade was entered at the price of 1.31. At Love30, the trader exited the trade at 1.21 on Berrettini's price. Now at Love40, the price dropped to 1.13. So basically, had we waited until Love40 or even game, then we would have almost doubled our loss. Now actually, in this particular game, Alga Aliassim did come back to juice and actually go on to win the game. But in around 70 to 80% of instances of players going Love30 down, they do go on to lose the game. In instances when the player does come back to 30 all or even juice, what we do is simply re-enter the trades at the similar prices they were before the player started serving. And if he goes on to win the game, you have not only covered the hedged loss, but you will have also made profit. And this is exactly what the trader did in this video. So I really hope you found this video useful. Please do check out my other videos on my channel and hit subscribe. And if you're interested in getting up and running as a tennis trader, then please visit protennistrader.com where you can get free access to my course titled An Introduction into Tennis Trading. Hopefully I'll see you on the course. Thanks for watching.